Hello, David. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Michael? I'm doing great. I'm glad you joined me today because I want to talk about automation. And uh, we're starting a series of blog posts and videos for our blog and that we will distribute via, uh, via our Twitter account and on Facebook and other social media about automation, specifically automation with QuickBooks. Uh, look, technology development has always been about improving products, improving the efficiency with things that could, uh, could be created, the efficiency, making them cheaper so that they're more widely, widely available. And automation has always been a huge part of that. And so let's talk about what first automation is because that definition is going to underscore this conversation we're going to have over the next few weeks and a, seri and a series of blog posts and videos that we're going to do. Automation, the technique, uh, method, or system of operating or controlling by highly automatic means or electronic devices, devices that reduce human intervention to a minimum. Mechanical device operating electronically that functions automatically without continuous input from an author, act or process of automation, the state of automating. Now you can see that definition on the stage, on the screen here rather, and that is the basis for what this conversation we're going to have over the next few weeks is. So, QuickBooks enables automation today particularly QuickBooks Online. There's a lot of great automation things that you can do in QuickBooks Desktop. But QuickBooks Online is built to eliminate traditional bookkeeping processes and allow the system to do them or to do most of them for you. So let's establish some uh, de another definition here. What are the benefits of automation? They give you, the owner, the executive, management, more time to focus on growing your business, adding value. Data entry is not added value. You eliminate or reduce, greatly reduce, should be what I, had, what I should have said, greatly reduce it. You increase the speed with which you're able to process transactions in your business, meaning that your financial statements and any reports that you're running are more current and more accurate. You increase accuracy because if the rules are built in a automation system or in a database there's not going to be data entry mistakes and by doing all these things you're going to increase the profitability of your business. Now the automation definition which we put up earlier doesn't say we eliminate human input. It talks about reducing it. And automation is a process. It's not an endpoint. There's a lot of things, again, that you can do today. Going forward, there's going to even be more. But again, automation is a process, not an event. We at Peak Advisors have worked with hundreds, if not thousands, of QuickBooks users. And they, in many cases, like we, as Peak Advisors in our own books, have sometimes failed to take advantage of the automation that is available to you today. And this series again is going to address those type of issues. So, we've got a series of blogs that are coming, posts, blog posts that are coming. We have a series of videos based on those blog posts and we're going to talk about automation and how you do it today in QuickBooks. And we're going to start with the first post about it of where I had a blind spot to how I could further automate my processes. Thanks. Talk to you soon.